some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Hendricks County, Indiana, with the, uh, well, dumbest of all the frauditors, uh, Wanda Mize. And this gigantic man-child is, of course, upset that he is not allowed to film inside of the courthouse, and he throws himself a little temper tantrum. Does he get his way? Well, you'll have to stick around and find out for that. I mean, the ending is uh, quite ambiguous. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But you got to charge me for the transcript, right? Um, I would assume so. I have no idea. Yeah, well, this is free. I am a, I'm the victim here. So, you, I mean, you want to force the victim to pay for evidence? I mean, the Brownsburg Police Department and this court clerk's office is already in violation of official misconduct. How's that? Because <laughs> I submitted the public records request and never got a response. Uh, we sent back with your court date your response. Yeah, but my public records request wasn't fulfilled. I asked for proof of jurisdiction. Oh, that? That's discovery. That's something totally different. No. So that's through the process. Public record is public records. Yeah, proof of jurisdiction. And uh, let me guess, you're going to quote uh, some Supreme Court case or something like that that tries to prove uh, that you ha that they have no jurisdiction over you or something like that? Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's what it's going to be. Some, some case that you've misinterpreted or something in that fashion. I mean, it's... Pretty much par for the course at this point that you frauditors tend to misinterpret everything that you come in contact with. It's as if that the majority of you seem to have some form of undiagnosed learning disorder or something like that. Right. Yeah, so I can come in here at any time, court hearing or not, but I can't and ask for jurisdiction. jurisdiction. That's not my job. That's the prosecutor. <laughs> it is your job. You guys work with the court. But the prosecutor is the one that would tell you that, not me. I'm not an attorney. I can't tell you anything. You guys work for the court, so you guys should know that the court has... I wasn't no. pulled over in Brownsburg. No. Hey, listen, you freaking moron. Have you ever heard of division of labor? Well, what that is is everybody in a group organization has a specific set of tasks that they are trained for. For example, if you work at a uh, Walmart that has a Tire Lube Express and uh, you are uh, trained in uh, activation of cell phones and customer service and everything like that, do, do you have the skills necessary to uh, go out to uh, TLE, Tire Lube Express, and change tires and change oil and everything like that? No. No, you don't. The same thing applies here. This woman is not trained in the specific areas that you are inquiring about. Just because she works for the courthouse doesn't mean that she is a lawyer. She might be doing a clerk work, like uh, uh, filing paperwork and everything like that, you nitwit. But you know what? I guess division of labor is a concept that goes the way above the head of a unemployed buffoon such as yourself they was outside of their officer. the officers were outside of their jurisdiction I'm not a police officer. you don't have to be a police officer to know that they were outside of their jurisdiction they pulled me over on raceway road How would I know that? because i put it in my uh, public records request so if you'd have read it you would have known you guys are unlawful here and i've exposed you I'm recording this uh, corporate TV. I mean, you guys can't deny my evidence. I'm taking this to federal court. There were two victims created by Brownsburg Police Department. Unlawful actions. Stole the vehicle. You, you know, dude, if you believe back then that uh, they had no jurisdiction over you and that uh, they were going to steal your vehicle instead of impounding it, maybe you should have tried driving off and seeing how far your little hypothesis, your little uh, game would have gone. I didn't steal you guys are part of it. You're just Because you guys have a working corporate relationship. Yeah. They do their unlawful acts. 
You guys convict, right? You guys work with the court. Yeah, I type in the information. You work with the court. <laughs> I need the judge to grant me permission to record my proceedings. I am a journalist. Oh. Everything I video, I post. And here lies the problem. Uh, you see, if you were a true journalist, then you would know about uh, Indiana's five-day uh, request rule. If you really wanted to film these proceedings, then you should have, uh, well, sent in this request form right here that is found on the Indiana Judicial website uh, five days prior to your court proceedings to have it approved by the judge. You just can't do it on the same day as the uh, court hearing itself. You smooth brained imbecile. I know. And people watch it. So that makes me press. So I want to record my proceeding. I need it for evidence. You guys are acting unlawful. I'm taking it to federal court. <coughs> I've already submitted the $4 million lawsuit to your town manager. Yeah, I don't have it with me, but they've got it. I've even got it on video. Watch my video. I'm here against my will. I didn't make it here. You didn't? I, personally, I didn't. A court date made me come in here. You requested the court date. Who, fill, who filled out the court date? Who sends it out? I didn't request a court date. I didn't request anything. Then why are you here? Because I got a court date. We'll finish it. I'm telling them that I need to record my court proceeding okay. because I need it for evidence for my federal court. For the policy, you're not allowed. Per, you're not permitted to. Get Show it. me the policy. I'm bad at you. You have a seat. Leave our yeah. employees alone. They're they're have not a, your employees. They're our employees. They're town employees. Have a seat. They're not your employees. They're our employees. Go get me a copy of the policy. Have a seat. Don't tell me to have a seat. I'll stand. I'll walk around. I'll video over here. I'll video over here. That's right. You're going to be on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Is that supposed to be interpreted as some sort of threat? I mean, a lot of people don't mind being on any of those platforms. I mean, maybe these cops want to uh, be uh, highlighted on your uh, lame YouTube channel or lame Facebook uh, page. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. It might get them some fame, and they could start their own YouTube channel. Go, where's the policy at? Well, something's going to get on right now. I mean, you guys have got me here against my will because your Brownsburg officers made two victims on an unlawful traffic stop. You volunteered and walked through those doors, so no enforcement. I don't volunteer nothing. I'm here to gather evidence for my federal case coming up. Okay. How you doing? I'm better than you. Okay. Come on, President Brownsburg, what are we going to do for you today? Get the judge to let me video my evidence in the courtroom. Uh, court starts at 1 o'clock. That's why I'm here. Okay. I mean, I don't know why they sent you guys out for. Why did you guys come out? I don't know. I just got here. You causing a ruckus? Are you causing a ruckus? Are you causing a ruckus? Are you causing a ruckus? I'm standing here. Me too. Okay. Hang out till court starts, and you understand at one o'clock you're gonna have to lock your phone up. No. For court policy, no phones in the courtroom. Well, I want to see the policy. I want to see the law. I don't follow policy. I follow law. It's so bring judges. me, bring me the law that says I can't video in there. Bring me the law. Okay. The judge isn't law. Okay. No. The judge is a referee. Okay. This ain't even a judge. Okay. This is an administrator. Okay. And this court is so. not even legal. If you say so. I don't say so, I know so. Okay. Where'd you get your law degree? I would wager he got his law degree out of a cereal box somewhere. 
Where did you get your law enforcement degree? Indiana Law Enforcement Training Board. Yeah, six weeks? That was a real stickler, wasn't it, huh? Uh, you might check your information on that. because It doesn't matter. Six months? How long? I know it takes longer for a barber to get his license than it does for you to get that badge. Okay, sir. Well, hang out. Chill until court starts at 1 o'clock. Bring me the policy. Bring me the law. I don't go by policy. I follow law. When you pull me over, is it policy that you pull me over for, or is it law? State law. Exactly. So show me law, because I follow law. I don't follow policy. Okay. So courtroom policy for Indiana Code. Policy. Policy. I know, that's too, because you asked me. Law is what I wanted. You I want cut her law. off right as she was getting I ready to cite the Indiana Code. Get loud, so you cocksucker. Get loud. Get loud. And I'll get fucking loud. Okay, you listening to me? Is that what you want? So the courtroom policy. Shut the, the fuck up. I see 3335-2-1A1, judges of city or town courts have- There's the officer right there that created two victims. Yeah, typical fraudulent behavior, ignoring the actual statute that's being read out, because this is an actual statute for Indiana law. And uh, I know what you're going to say, statutes aren't laws, but that's exactly what they are. They are laws passed by legislators. Rules for conducting the business of the court. Is that what you wanted? I wanted the law. I didn't want a policy. I wanted the law that says I can't video. You this is a court policy so, you so what's your name, badge number? Name, badge number? Can you read it? Can you say it? Huh? You asked for the court policy I asked you for your name and badge number. My last name is Clay. Badge number? I don't have to give you my badge number. Employee, my I guess you do. I do not. Can I get the officers a copy of the officer's policy? Here's a copy of the Indiana Code for you, sir. That's a policy. I no. follow law. That is IC, Indiana Criminal Code, 33 That's a statute. That I follow Indiana. law. That is not a law. That is law. Who made that then? The Indiana legislature. That yeah, the Indiana that's Criminal not law. Code. That's the same... That's the same nonsense they give you guys to go out here and extort the people, right? Okay. So not only did he say statutes aren't law, but he also made the claim that the Indiana legislature can't make laws for Indiana. Uh, yeah, dude, they can. Per the Tenth Amendment, you bozo. Now that uh, we've got the taste of uh, his stupidity, let's go ahead and skip on ahead a few minutes a little longer than a few minutes later you and this court clerk's office your police department and this court clerk's office is all in violation of misconduct because nobody responded to my public records request i wanted to proof that you guys had jurisdiction outside brownsburg nobody submitted to that i wanted what the pulled up on the officer's screen when she ran my plate Nobody responded to that. I wanted background information on all the officers involved regarding Brady. If you guys have got violations against the public for actions that were unlawful, nobody responded. I wanted names, salaries of everybody. Nobody responded. You guys think you can withhold evidence to an ongoing court case and think it's okay? Hey, you dumbass. Uh, have you ever studied any kind of law procedure or anything like that? Because in the American court system, there's a thing called discovery, which if you're going pro se, you can easily request this from the judge when the uh, question arises in the proceedings, you numb nuts. They're not withholding anything from you. They probably just haven't gotten to that part yet. I mean, come on now, dude, think, think, or do some damn research, jeez. You know what, my head hurts from listening to this complete and total dumbass. I mean, he goes around like this for another 20 minutes before he uh, turns off the video, so let's just go ahead and skip to the end and get this over with, because his stupidity, well, it's unique and it, it's uh, painful. Many, many minutes later. I, know. I mean, you need to understand okay, what's going on. Police department, we're going to begin checking people in the courtroom. Thank you, sir. As you enter the doorway, you'll come across this check, this uh, clipboard. It's got your name on it. Just put your initials behind so we know you're here. If your name is actually highlighted in yellow, there will be an additional form that you need to fill out. We'll have you show the front row so you can speed up that process. The rules in the courtroom, there's no weapons of any type. Weapons, guns, uh, knives, whatnot. Campus. That's not I was just getting ready to get there. Uh, 
And there's also no electronic devices in the courtroom. You're encouraged to take your phone to your car, leave it there, or we have locked boxes available right here. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll get the answers for you. And other than that, uh, let's just go ahead and form a line here. Real quick, is there a Jordan Johnson here? For your case, you've been dismissed. <laughs> anyway, we'll pull a line right here. Oh, real quick, we have a metal detector too. We'll put all your metal in a basket. We'll get you through the metal detector. We'll get you through the that metal detector to get your property back. If you have a purse or a bag, we'll need to check the bag. Just make sure you don't have a weapon to go through the court If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Do you understand all that stuff you're saying is a Fourth Amendment rights violation? Do you understand that you're a blooming moron? Because that is not a Fourth Amendment violation, especially when it comes to security. They are not seizing your property permanently, you douchebag. Uh, they're going to give it back to you when you leave the courthouse. So that way they can make sure there are no weapons in the courthouse that can hurt people in case things uh, go sour in there, you blooming idiot. Do you understand you're violating the Fourth Amendment whenever you make all those demands? What is your name? What is your name and your position? What is your name and your position? I was trying to get behind you, but you're behind the you're behind the police. They towed my car in for a headlight being out. Are you on drugs, man? Are you on drugs? Yes, I am. God's drugs. Yeah, you said you quit. God's drugs. You're on the ignorant drug is what you're on. You're stuck in ignorance. Maybe you should get back on drugs. Maybe your thought process is working better when you were on drugs. Did your parents have any children that lived? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. Man, oh man, this guy is just a complete and total asshole, isn't he? I mean, what what had the hell happened in his life to make him this angry? I mean, what happened? Where did you go? What happened? What's your story, dude? Where did it all go wrong for you? Why are you taking it out on... Everybody around you. I mean, what the hell, dude? Hey, that's stupid stuff. Dude. It does, don't it? Just like you, just like you supporting the police. That's stupid as fuck. Thinking you got a friend. Officers ain't friendly. You're blue washed. I'm not giving up my property, so somebody's going to have to take it. Well, I mean, they'll have to tell me that then. If I needed your help, I would have called you. I don't, obviously, I don't need your help. I stand on my own two feet. I stand on my own two feet. Yeah, it sounds like it. I do have a stutter problem. It's my fault. I'm not talking about your stutter. I'm talking about your lack of understanding. When you think that officers are friendly and they're not. That's what I'm talking about. What's he want? What did you want? I was just asking if she would be willing to actually acknowledge the piece of paper I gave her that cited the Indiana Code that says the judge is allowed to make the rules for this courtroom. The judge cannot make up rules for the courtroom. It's unlawful. It is unlawful. I tried to show you this. And we're not talking about a regular old 
uh, court proceeding. We're talking about the fact that I am the victim. Well, yeah, uh, I've heard this over and over again with you in this video. You're the poor little victim. Oh, woe is me. Look at my uh, gigantic victim complex. Oh, because I got pulled over, I'm a victim. Oh, bullshit. I mean, I watched your video where you got pulled over, and uh, you definitely weren't the victim in that one. Your attitude problem is what got your car towed. We are the victims. We're not talking about a lawful court proceeding. This is not a lawful court proceeding. This is not a lawful judge. This is an administrator and a corrupt court that isn't even lawful by design. So are you going to present your case to the court today or are you going to take off and enjoy the rest of your day? No, I want the judge to okay my right to video in the courtroom. That's what I want. The courtroom is recorded. I don't care. I want my own because I don't want to have to pay for it. Why pay for something that I can get for free on my own? To do that is obstruction of justice. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> you guys are withholding my evidence and allowing this court to violate my constitutional rights to gather evidence in an ongoing court proceeding. This is going to federal court. What have we done to you today? You guys are telling me that I cannot record in the courtroom and you're going to back up this statute that has no relevance to law. It's not my opinion, it's a fact. Are you going to let me go in there and record my proceeding? Yeah. No, the rules of the court are you leaving your phone out here? Yeah, rules of the court. I don't go by rules, I go by the law. Are you a rule enforcer? Are you a rule enforcer? I'm a law enforcer. And okay, law. law is not rule. You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. Yeah, because you have no argument. Okay. Rule is not law. Okay. Okay, come on, sir. Ah, oh, okay. So, are you guys going to take my property if I take it into the courtroom? Judge. You have me go ask him? Yeah. Tell him I need to report my proceeding, only my proceeding only, because I need the evidence for federal court. Okay. I appreciate that. I mean, it's simple. We don't have to make it so tough. I need the evidence. Okay. I mean, I paid enough. I paid $20 at the window and paid to get my car out of impound. When it had no lawful business being impounded, it was stolen. You guys are, you are a part of an auto theft. You conspired with an auto theft. I'm suing all you guys, and I'm going to sue that tow company. It's not okay. When you violate the law to create victims out of the public for no lawful reason at all, it's not okay. What makes you think that is okay? I don't answer questions. Yeah, but you sure talk stupid, though, don't you? So what do you say? The judge said you can either place your phone in a lockbox, secure it in your vehicle, and follow the procedures of the court where he will hold a trial absentia, which means a trial without you present. Was your body cam on when you were talking to him? No. Why not? Because I was in a private office area. It's not a private office area when law enforcement is involved. So you went back and talked to the judge without your body camera on? Yes, sir. So you didn't gather any evidence to the fact for anybody like myself to gather and use in my federal lawsuit? You shut your body cam. What does your body cam policy say when you're dealing with the situation? That I will not have it on when I'm in private recorded areas. But you're dealing with the situation. You were doing a duty for the public and asking the judge if he's allowed to video his evidence during this court proceeding. Okay. And you went back there and you didn't have your body camera on. Okay. So this is a situation, and you didn't have your body camera on. Okay. So you're in violation of your policy of having your body camera you on yeah. during a court proceeding? I'm just with somebody in there. <laughs> no, I'm doing that. Perfect. 
So, what are we going to do? I'm going to court. So I can tell the judge about all this unlawfulness going on out here. And his own actions. So now I have to pull the judge into my federal uh, civil rights lawsuit. Well, I guess this bozo just decided to say, screw this, I'm out of here. And uh, as you can see, it looks like he was walking away when the camera turned off. But damn, if I had to debunk and uh, comment on every dumb thing that this guy said, then my video would probably be well over three hours long. And that's with just the parts that I didn't edit out. I mean, there was a lot of circular reasoning in there that, well, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just because you think you're smart doesn't mean you're smart. I mean, that kind of thing. Man, oh man, this guy is a special kind of, well, dumbassery. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. Third Most definitely, because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera, doesn't mean I have to get out of here, doesn't mean I have to leave, doesn't mean I have to go, <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do, um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property, um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. Oh, I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island the speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, That's a 25. 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Still, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel 
because this channel has brought more good than negativity.